Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to propose you a video about uh, how to monetize the channel prune. And this is a video that it's part of a series of video about the fronts themselves. And uh, I'll put them in a playlist in the description so that uh, once that I publish the videos, you will be able to have a referral where to find uh, all of them. And here we have the monetization, so about the channel front and how you can have a lot of options about it. First thing it's the materials that we need. So we need magnets, obviously, and the channel from itself, but we have not to glue the upper part of the seating and a bus ticket. Because as I showed you in the video about the defiler, you can find a lot of usages to such option to create the bridge for using the magnets. So go to see that video if you are interested about having an explanation on how to use and why to use such paper bridges. We start to measure up the dimensions that we need about the bus ticket that we use for the throne. We verify how much can be big the magnet that we put inside this stone that is at the center of the front itself. With a pencil we draw the inner part of the front itself and the wings that we'll use then to move so that we can glue them together to the sides of the throne itself in the inner part obviously. And then I decided to stabilize better the front realizing on the back part of the front, on the bottom part of it, two holes that has a size of 3 mm diameter and 2 mm at depth for to put the magnets inside. Here you have to pay attention because even if they are covered because when you close the front and using such positions you don't have the option to see the inner parts. You anyway can risk to ruin this part of the inner part of the model. So pay attention when you go to make such drillings because otherwise you risk that uh, the model can have some damages so pay a bit of attention when you do and decide quite carefully where to put uh, the holes eventually use some drillings with smaller points so that then you can enlarge and you have better control on the positioning of such magnets and before to glue everything together I have to put inside the bridge of paper that I realized with the wings on the sides as I said and about the money that I decided to use it's one of the biggest that I have and it's the 5 mm as diameter and 3 mm as depth. It's one of the best because I needed something that was surely to keep inside the position of the front itself because I didn't want to drill everything so the other magnets that we see soon it's uh, on the other part of uh, the plastic, so I decided to use something quite strong uh, to have a better grip. And here you can see the final positioning of the magnets for the front, so that you can have uh, an idea of where I decided to put them on the model itself. I also wanted that the platform where the magnets can be put on to be positioning in other places. So to do this, uh, I decided to monetize also the platform itself uh, so that it could keep the front, but also that it could kept aside from it and you can use it as a building separate from the front or you can have the building with the stairs, then have the front and have the platform that where you have the throne that can be put or aside or or for the throne itself uh, separately so that uh, you can have different ways uh, to monetize it's something that uh, you can avoid such monetization you only need uh, to make the magnets for the throne before the clue eventually but in my way I decided to move a step further and have such type of ulterior monetization and here you can see the final effect of the magnets inside. So they are not visible if you go to play other than you flip the shining elements. But in that case, it's not a problem because it will be old otherwise. So eventually you can try to think about covering it. Simply I didn't want to do such thing, but it's an option eventually. And 
here you can see that I used magnets that were 5 for 2 mm ones. I decided to use something that it was a bit big because I wanted something that wasn't moving because this is also to stabilize all the building itself. So in such a way I decided to proceed with such strong magnets. And here you can see where I put the magnets for the front. So you can see the ones about the building and the ones about the front so that they were in the right positioning. Here you have to pay attention to the structure of the piece itself because there is the cross that can ruin the right place where to put the magnet. So you have to pay a bit of attention to the positioning of the different magnets of the model for the front and the piece itself. So we had the two pieces of the shining elements that are separate but they can be combined together. As we can see here. And then a final funny trick about such front end it's the magnetization about the bone cushion of such front. And this uh, it's quite interesting because uh, to do this I used two magnets of 5 for 2 mm ones uh, and you have to pay attention because uh, the risk uh, to tilt uh, and move uh, to each other if uh, you don't do the things uh, quite good. So pay attention to such detail because you need to be a bit of resting the glue in the side before to move to the other one. And this is important because I needed to because if I want to have a model that sits, for example, with a particular part on one side or on the other side of the bone cushion itself, I needed to have strong magnetized force because there is plastic in the middle and a bit quite thick. So I needed something that it was strong enough to make me put the models without having the problem that they move too much or they slide and so on. So now they suit better and in such a way they have the option that they stay really quite good on site and the part of the cushion itself doesn't move because it's attracted by the magnets that we have under the front itself so you create a magnetic circuit that make the magnetization even stronger so it's really quite interesting in such a way and so you have only to paint the model itself and here you can see that I used a quite simple scheme of colors, so really a few colors, quite simple, quite fast, and I think that the results are really effective in such an option. But what is the throne without anyone to sit on? So I used the vampiresses from the common throne to make an example of the results that you can gain to create such magnetization. So, and you can understand why I decided to put two magnets on the different side of the cushion, bone cushion itself. So, now it's up to you to decide if it's worth or not, and it's one of my options about it. So, as you can see, you need a bit of magnets to do such modification, such magnetization about such model, but I think that it's worth because you can have uh, different options uh, to create your own dioramas, uh, your own options. Uh, you can change the platform, uh, the front itself, uh, and we'll see how in the future. And uh, so I think that uh, it's quite worth to make such investment on magnets in this case, because uh, you really can adapt this front that I really like as model to every army that you need based on the idea that you have about composing a diorama, composing a certain scenic elements or other options so that you can really quite a lot personalize everything in your army without any problem. So from Dynamod it's everything, I invite you to put a like on this video, to subscribe to the channel, to ring the bell and to comment this video if you are interested in something about this video or you want to suggest me some arguments for other videos. I hope to see you again to the next time.